Hey, what is going on, everybody? We're back with another Things and Stuff review, the show where we review things and stuff. And today we have the StarCrafts 11400 scale USS and ISS Titans designed by Sean Torrenjo, who I met at Denver Comic Con and did an excellent interview with him. I will put the uh, link in the description below if you would like to check that out and hear the designer master himself discuss his creation that has pretty much become canon almost it's it's probably as close as any um fan-made ship will ever get so that's pretty cool but i just got these today i haven't even opened them yet so we're going to check those out uh, below we have a couple of prints signed by Sean Torrenjo. You can check him out on DeviantArt. He, he's designed many more ships other than just the Titan that are fantastic designs, so I definitely recommend going and checking that out. I'll put the links to his DeviantArt and his website in the comment there, the description below if you want to check those out. But, um, long story short, I met him, talked to him. It was fantastic. He had one of the StarCraft's USS Titans. Uh, with him and I was checking it out and it looks like a really cool model. I didn't get to examine it too closely, but now I will. But I started talking to him and I was thinking he should come down to the store and do a talk. So hopefully at the end of the July we're going to have him down and he will do a little um, talk on starships and designing all that. So, but. Uh, Let's move on with it. We'll consult these later. These are the most current versions of the ship that he designed, so um, there's that. So, nice box, we got all that stuff. Uh, it is taped, which I did not consider. I didn't even pull them out of the mailbox, or the mailing box. But I purchased the um, Aztec decals and the kits, whatever. So, here we go. Let's check it out. Ooh, baby. So, the, I've only ever bought one other StarCrafts kit, and it was the USS Ares, which I'm still building, which uh, Sean Torrenjo helped design, too, which is kind of cool. But it looks like we've got... Ooh, baby. Here we go. Very nice decals. Very nice decals. I wish my Ares ones looked this good. I just assumed my Ares ones were a miss, so they were probably just trying to rush them out because everybody was buying so many of them at the time. So, but yeah, these are beautiful. We've got some very nice color directions and assembly instructions. Looks like it's really easy to assemble. I uh, got resin instructions, use super glue, not model glue, uh, warp with um, hot water or D-Warp, however you want to call it. Uh, Prime with 400 grit, blah, blah, blah. They have a nice little uh, color guide there. We'll see, I don't know if I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna talk with him about what colors he thinks are the best colors to use, but we've got that. Let us check out the ship, very nicely packaged with backing peanuts. Now, it would be, have, this kit I think is from two, 2006, 2004, so it has some age to it. I can't even b believe it's been that long since this came out, but or since it, you know, made its debut as a ship, but uh, um, nevertheless, here it is. So it might have some age to it in terms of molding and accuracy. I bet today it would probably be hollow and you could light it up. So if for whatever reason the it gets resurged in popularity, maybe they'll redo it as a hollow version, but the saucer looks very nice. All the escape pods are well, um, defined. The thing I'm most excited about this is I don't have to drill out all these windows because there's no way I'm going to light this. So. <laughs> because that, that would just be the worst. I, I hate drilling out resin windows if they're not really thin. Because I'm doing that on the 11000 Akira and it's because uh, uh, sometimes it's tough in areas. But, um, but really nice. Very crisp detail. Not a lot of flash that's not easily clean upable. The mold seems to have been aligned properly because sometimes you get those, not them necessarily, but in resin in general, sometimes when they put the mold pieces together, they're not lined up properly. So you get kind of like a shelf on one side and it's inset and that can be a pain in the butt to fix, but I'm not seeing any of that here. That's probably one of my number one peeves. Bubbles, whatever, you can fill bubbles, even if they're big and annoying. 
at least there's that but when it's like a complete break of the design or whatever or like something where you have to like re-sculpt it that's just the worst having said that I'm not seeing any of that on this there's a little bit of stuff right in there but that probably will be pretty eh. little challenging to get out but it's not too bad that's the only problem i'm seeing and i think that's just from mold use so but very nice very crisp very excellent detail nice resin uh, this appears to be the roll bar sensor tactical pod whatever you want to call it um, in the video in the interview i did with him he talks a lot about where the design inspiration came from and it's very interesting to hear oh that's cool look at the little uh there's a little torpedo emitter right there oh and two on the back that's kind of cool so like this is a inspired from the uh refit enterprise the sensor dome on the bottom so that's kind of cool let's let's go on here Almost. There we go. So we got that. Nice little gap under there. Next we've got, here we have a warp pylon. Very runabout-esque. You know what would be cool is to uh, redo the runabout based just on this in terms of like style and sleekness and design. Just, you know, replace the pylons with this, but then update the rest of it to, to fit with this pylon. I think that'd be kind of cool. And then we've got our secondary hull. Oh man, look at that. That is cool. Oh, look at that. That is neat. I didn't know it had a little shuttle on the bottom because I have not been paying attention. A little wave ride or whatever. There's that sensor again. Very neat looking deflector dish. Very unique looking as well. Very nicely detailed. Nice shuttle bay. It's kind of cool. They have like a, you know, a trench in there to protect the shuttles and have operations in there and stuff like that. Very cool. Looks like we have some really nice attachment points. So there's no question about how that fits in there. Let's see. There we go. Nice. And we've got our, ooh, there you go. Very cool. A nice little Delta Shield base. That's one problem. Bases are always a thing with me. I don't, I hate drilling holes into the bottom of the ship, but what else are you gonna do? I'm not as creative as some people to come up with some kind of, you know, neat Eagle Moss stand that'll just fit on it like that. I guess I could if I really worked at it, but I hate drilling the holes and then in here, but I hate that wire, like if it's just a wire coming up. So I'd like to come up with something better than that, but I don't really know what else other than an, coming up with some kind of Eagle Moss-like stand, which also might look tacky if it's too bulky or whatever, rather than just a, a pole. But it always, I don't know, it always seems strange if it's just a straight up pole. I mean, even if it's stylized a bit, you know, like those, um, the new round two uh, Romulan Bird of Prey and the Romulan edition of the Klingon Battle Cruiser, how it has that kind of, it comes up and then it curves back because it's supposed to go into the ship like that. But I think that design looks much neater than just a pole sticking up into it so there's that on the other hand that reminds me of i think it's called ts hobbies it's something like that they do all these fantastic clear acrylic display bases for starships models props cars toys whatever with custom imprinted things so now that i remember that i might have to have them make something that would fit this guy and it would just sit in there like a cradle and look very neat um so then i wouldn't have to drill a hole into it so since it's not going to be lighted anyway i don't have to worry about it or i could put lights in the bottom of the and i think they actually do it in white and black plastic too but you could put lights in the bottom of the thing and it would shine up i don't know something like that uh here we have another pylon and yeah, needs a little bit of work but there's that and we have our clear parts which of there are two. I wish the deflector was clear, but um, that's another thing I want to talk about. I actually prefer when they're clear parts to be trans loose, not translucent, not transparent, colorless, whatever the word is, just perfectly white 
clear, not not colored at all, just because, especially on the show, they would be, you know, just frosted, but they wouldn't have color in them. Although I think later on they ended up having, some of them ended up having color. Like I think, I think Voyager has color. I don't know, now I have to look it up. But they're, they're usually just white and the color is from whatever light is behind it. So I kind of prefer that look, the frosted look, like the Enterprise D. Well, the six foot Enterprise D has the frosted white, but then the four foot, I think the later one they made is red. But I prefer the frosted look and have it light that way. On the other hand, like we said, this one's not gonna be lit, so maybe the red ones will fit with my fancy. Um, but we shall see. And then these are little things that go over the red pieces, which I'll look at in a second. Here are the warp engines, which look really cool. Now, one of the things I'm not sure if I want to do is on the show, the studio models, the flux chillers or whatever were copper and they were lit from behind blue. So I don't know if I want to paint them blue or if I want to paint them copper or if I want to paint them like blue and then somehow very carefully mask them off in strips and have the copper over it and just have the blue like in the cracks or whatever, something like that. Um, I just think that looks neater than just blue. But um, unless you do the blue right, maybe with like shading and stuff like that, uh, that's kind of a cool effect. These little like, it looks like it still lights up back there, but there's like those grills over it. That's kind of cool. And then the, probably the yellow area that you see on all the nacelles. So there we've got that. And then from what I understand, I'm not sure how exactly these go on, but you uh, put that around like that, something like that. That finishes off the nacelle. Uh, what we got in there? Uh, peanuts everywhere, my favorite. So yeah, that is the USS Titan. Let's see if I can somewhat put it together. We got that. We got a saucer section. So you can kind of get a look at the size of the overall ship when it gets done. Very cool. Oh, it's so awesome. So there's that guy. All right, you hang out over here, Space Vesselino. Go over there, let's get our destructions and decals. <clears throat> All right, we'll do the, well, I guess we might as well do this. So here's one of the sets of decals. It looks like, that's cool. So apparently on the website, I guess on Federation models, there was just a listing for Aztec decals just for the USS Titan, but apparently they also make ISS ones. I was just expecting to get another copy of this, but that's pretty cool. We'll check that out when it's time for the ISS. Okay, let us see what we got going on here. Start off, we've got a very nice direction set on placement. Very cool. Oh, wow, this is neat. Huh, that is interesting. So it looks like you just get a sheet of the pattern and you just cut out the shapes to it. That's kind of interesting. I've never seen that before. Huh. Let's check it out. Oh, don't stick. Yeah, these look fantastic. I wish my Aries ones looked like this. <laughs> this is a cool deflector dish. Now, I'm noticing there were some ribbed details on that deflector dish, and I'm wondering if it might be easier to sand those off just so there's not like crinkling in the deflector if I chose to use that. Very nice Delta Shields, USS Titan. Here's one of the random patterns. Looks pretty good. Here is, well, I'm kind of confused. The decals look fantastic. So, hey, maybe the second one's in there and it has two of those ones. 
I think. Something. I don't know. We'll figure it out. So that's that. All right. And then we decided to travel to the Mirror Universe and see the ISS Titan. Which is very neat that it's not just the exact same design. They He kind of made it its own thing. Especially since it has a separating saucer section. Which looks very, very cool. Alright, of course we've got our directions on the top. Whoa, those are cool looking. They're a little liney, or print liney, but uh, they're not too bad. I think that would work. Kind of The deflector dish looks really cool, I love that. Skate pods, thruster or impulse engines. The Terran Empire logo is very cool on that, which appears to be backwards for some reason. That's bizarre. Look at that. Huh. Well, whatever. I guess it is Mirror Universe. Let's check out the directions. We have a decal placement guide. And we have a paint guide with color callouts. Very, very cool. Alrighty. Let us see what we got going on here. So it looks like the saucer is... Oh, that's interesting. Here we go. I guess it can't be. Um, so here's the top of the saucer. Whoop, there goes my microphone. I'm sure everybody wants to listen to clunks. It'll probably sound just as interesting ah, as me prattling on. Oh, let's get out the original saucer. Now, here's hoping I don't mix them up, even though I don't think that's going to be a problem. But there you go. Of course, the uh, Mirror Universe one is, is darker, of course. Um, but yeah, they look. the top looks exactly the same. The bottom is the same other than there is a imprint for the uh, bridge section of or the battle bridge section. There we go. We got two docking ports. We'll just dock them together. We got that. These kits are the same price, by the way. I think they were $75 each. Um, so it's kind of cool that the same price. Get that. All right, cool. Let's look at that. Top section. Those are some big windows right there. Very, very cool. As far as I can tell, these look pretty much the same. Other than, of course, the... Oh, looks like we got an impulse engine there. Guess you kind of need one if your ship is separating. And on the bottom, the bottom, it looks like we got a docking port here. That's new. Unless I'm blind, I'm not seeing too many other differences. I don't know if that's supposed to be a nav light or just, just a flash piece or a piece of um, resin that's not supposed to be there. Uh, other than that, it looks about the same. Deflector dish is the same. Ooh, wow. Sorry. So, very, very cool. My goal, hopefully, and it doesn't look like it'll be too hard. I've got to find flat spaces that'll be easy to fill, but what I want to do is have, you know, magnets here or here, and, you know, maybe like five, one, two, three, three sets of magnets or whatever, and then same on this so it can, it'll have a nice secure fitting when it's docked, but then be able to detach. Ooh, I'm seeing some cool pieces in here. All right. Oh, wow. Those are cool looking. Very Excelsior. Now I want to redesign an Excelsior based on these as the nacelles. That's really cool looking. It doesn't, almost doesn't even look like a nacelle yet. Very cool. 
And what else we got? We got a pylon, which I'm pretty sure they're the same. Yep, pylons are the same. And oh, here we go. Yeah, yeah, there we go. That's pretty cool. I'm digging that. Very cool. I'm, I'm digging that so much. And we got our other pylon. And so instead of the one uh, arch roll bar thing, this one has two uh, pods. You can get that in there. Two battle pods, tech pod thingies, whatever you want to call it. Very cool. Ooh, it's got four torpedoes facing front right there. I guess it is a mirror ship. Uh, back we got two. But all keeping with the original detail that the first one had. And as far as I can tell, last but not least, we have some very clear, clear parts that it looks so cool. A little bit of flash on them. Nice clear cast resin. Hopefully they'll show up. Um, you can kind of see some of the lines on the flux chillers. So I, I see this being a terrifying to mask, but it's very well defined, so I hopefully it won't be too much of a problem. Oh, well, on the other hand, it looks like there's just a kind of bar up at the top, or like a whole area up at the top, so that'll be easy to mask. But then there's nothing on the bottom, so then you don't have to worry about masking the bottom area. Although, you'll mask the bottom anyway, just so it doesn't get a bunch of crap underneath. I'm not sure, like I said, with the regular Titan, if we want to do copper. I guess I could do copper and then blue underneath or something like that, and frost it and red underneath. I don't know. Something like that. We'll see. But very Enterprise E like now. So that's that guy. Let's see if we can make the little secondary hull attack vessel space thingy. Apparently, the left pylon doesn't like to fit in there on both of them, so that'll. Need a little bit of fixing up. Guess this goes like this, whatever, something like that. Anyway, so that's that. All right, and last but not least, let's check out the ISS Aztec decals. Although I guess this couldn't really have effective um, replacement Aztecs if that one's missing one, because I think it has the ISS stuff going on. Ooh, very cool. Alrighty. Very nice color graphics. Whole pattern thingies. More. Oh, there's two of these, that's kind of bizarre. And finally, more graphic setting instructions. So let's check these guys out. Looks like we got three pages. Stop sticking together. We've got all the blue. The earth is still backwards for some reason. Very nice plating. Now we've got our. Top hole, I think. Or is that bottom? No, that's the top, I think. There's the logos on the pattern. And, oh, well, that worked itself out, I think. Oh, cool. So these ones are much, much nicer in terms of vibrant color, and uh, they don't have the streaks like these ones do, so. This is a welcome uh, addition. So I'm glad I bought that set, or I'm glad they included that. I didn't even know that was an option, so. Cool, well there you go. I don't know how long I've talked because I forgot to reset the time since I shot the two other videos you might have seen earlier. But um, 
Those are the Titans, designed by Sean Torrenjo. Very cool. I'm very looking forward to building these. I'm also looking forward to them because I don't feel the compulsive need to light them, which would be a horrifying experience since they're nice solid resin. So it should just be clean up, fill whatever needs to be filled, and uh, on to painting. The painting is going to be the intense part. Let's go ahead and look at these graphics again. And I thought I remember him mentioning that he had kind of redesigned some of the detail on the ships. But maybe not. It looks pretty much the same to me, as far as I can tell. So also you'll notice the uh, paint scheme that's on here is much lighter than this print. So I want to find a happy medium between what this is, but I don't want to make it too dark because I think it'll look, it'll just look strange if it's like this dark as a model. Maybe, I don't know. I'm going to have to play with it, with the color, but I'd really like it to look neat and mean and all that stuff. And then same with this guy. I want it to look, I want him to look, you know, studio model-ish, not just model. I want him to look, have the, the I don't know, the joie de vivre that the studio models have because they're so joyful. Um, but yeah, that's that, that's that, that's that. Here's these, here's those. Uh, if you have any questions, um, please feel free to post in the comments, like, subscribe, all these. I'll post the links for these if you wish to purchase them in the description below. Uh, you can buy them at federationmodels.com. And like I said, I'll have a link to that, StarCrafts Models. Um, but yeah, very nice kits. I'm looking forward to building them. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed my prattling on about spaceships for many, many an hour. Um, next time, I don't know what we got next, but something proppy probably, or, or model-y, we'll see. Probably proppy. But um, we will have fun making all those things. And these have to get built for the event, so you'll definitely see update pictures on these of them being painted up and stuff like that so anyway thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you next time on the next episode of things and stuff <laughs>